Good morning, friends. I hope you are all doing great and had a good little break from school, but it's time that we start learning about art again. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to learn about warm colors and cool colors. And um, warm colors and cool colors are really important because it helps us kind of decipher the mood and the temperature of a picture or a painting or even just everyday life. So we use warm and cool colors all the time. And I think it's really important in art that we can learn to distinguish them and be able to use them together too. So what we're going to do today is I'm gonna share my PowerPoint with you and then we are going to do a little bit of drawing together. And we're gonna learn about one of my favorite artists today, Laurel Birch. And she's known for drawing her cats. So I hope you guys like to draw cats today. And let's get started. So when I share my screen with you, we are going to get started. So as you can see here, I have warm and cool colors. So warm and cool colors are important to know about because when we talk about temperature, it kind of helps us to remember our warm and cool colors. When I think of a hot and sunny day, I think of warm colors. So you think about maybe the fruits you would eat in the summer and the temperature and what color the sun is or a sunset. So a warm color is usually considered red, orange, and yellow. And all the colors in between, like red orange or red yellow, which would be orange, <laughs> or orange and yellow together, right? So we have those colors in between too. And then when I think of a cool color, I think of going into a cold pool or a cold lake or ocean. And I think of the colors that you would see in that. And that helps me to remember. So green, blue, and purple. So when you take the whole rainbow and kind of cut it in half, you have your warm colors and your cool colors. It's pretty easy to remember, but sometimes it can be a little bit tricky. So I think one of the tricky colors is yellow and green. Sometimes we get those confused. But just remember, green is closer to blue than yellow. So that's important to know. So another type of color that I want you guys to understand is neutral colors. These are really our warm colors and our cool colors. They're kind of the colors that are more like skin tone or earthy colors. And uh, we won't be drawing with these necessarily today, but I think it's really important to know that there's not just warm colors and cool colors in the world. We also have neutral colors that um, are kind of separate in their own way. So like all of our skin colors, unless you have blue skin, which I'd be pretty jealous, um, they're all a neutral color. So can you name some of these examples that I have and tell me which ones are warm colors and cool colors? Oh, and which ones are neutral colors too? If you want, you can pause the video and say it out loud, maybe to the people that you're around, which ones are warm colors and which ones are cool and which ones are neutral. So let's learn about an artist who loves to use these color schemes, Laurel Birch. Can you say Laurel Birch? Laurel Birch is known for her paintings and jewelry of cats and other animals. So this is Laurel Birch when she was alive. Unfortunately, she is no longer a living artist. Um, but look at the cats behind her. They're more of an abstract cat, right? They're not realistic, but they have lots of fun patterns and colors. And I'm starting to notice something right here. This looks a little bit warm and this one looks pretty cool. So I really like this picture right here on the left side of your screen of the sun and the moon. The sun is used mostly warm colors, right? I see a little bit of gold and a little bit of purple. So those obviously aren't warm colors, but the sun is mostly a warm color. And then the moon is mostly a cool color, just like the background. So that helps me to remember the difference too. So, and then the picture right here, I see a lot of cool color cats, some warm color cats, some neutrals. And then this one is, I think, a really good example of warm versus cool colors. So we have our cool color cat, and our warm color cat. And then here, I just wanted to throw this one in. She also did pictures of dogs and horses and other animals too. Um, but I really like the dogs in this picture because they're all different looking. They're all different like breeds of dogs, right? So that is my PowerPoint about Laurel Bird. So let's get started now drawing our cat and using warm and cool colors and patterns to decorate. 
All right, so as you can see here, I have my paper, I have my marker, and I have my colors right here that I'll use in just a little bit. All right, so to draw my Laurel Birch style cat, I am going to start right here. I'm gonna draw it a little bit smaller, but if you guys can, take up your whole page. So to begin, I am going to start with kind of a W shape, just like this. Then I'm gonna do some pointed ears. And they don't have to be perfect, just like that. Now I'm gonna come right here and make a V, and then come up and over to make my eye. So up, curve, and then make my eyes, just like that. So there is the beginning. I can draw my nose like some little triangles. The bottom of the, like the chin. And then I can draw some ovals, and then maybe this part of the eye too. Okay. Now I'm going to draw another line right here. And then my whiskers. Then I'm going to come down here and start to draw my body. This part's super fun. So from the side of the head, maybe where the eye starts, you're going to come down, around, and make a big swirl. So that's going to be my back and my tail. Then over here, I'm going to come and I'm going to draw my two paws, just like the artist does. Remember, these are abstract, right? So they're not exactly realistic. Now I can draw my little toes. And then I can start drawing my patterns. And we've learned a lot about patterns in art. Um, and some of the patterns that we're going to do today is let's do some flowers. So I'm going to draw just like that. And then you can add dots in them, you can add swirls, you can add any sort of shape. Okay, you could draw more than one cat too, if you would like. You could do a warm color cat and a cool color cat. I'm just drawing some different patterns. Now, I can come down here and kind of make it look like a tail, like that. And then I can obviously draw some more flowers, draw some leaves. The more patterns you can do, the better. So I'm just kind of drawing my flowers. You can do so many more, but I'm gonna stop here for right now after I do one more little flower, just so I can start doing my warm colors versus cool colors. So what I've decided to do is do a cool color cat with warm color flowers, but you could do it a different way if you would like. I'm gonna add just the tops of my ears and maybe um, a little flower up here. Give it a little bit more. I think that would be super cute. Okay, so like I said, I'm gonna do a cool color cat. So cool colors, remember blue, green, and purple. Right here, blue, green, and purple. So I'm just going to color my cat with my cool colors. I'm gonna color nicely in the lines. I'm gonna start with blue. And then maybe I'll do some green ears. And I like to make it pretty symmetrical, which means the same on both sides. Remember, we've learned about the, this here. And then maybe I'll do like purple down here. 
And remember, you can take your time and pause the video at any point. You can even mix the colors too. So I mix blue and purple to make this indigo color. And then I could do blue and green to make a teal. Like that. Okay, so there's my cool color head. And now I can use my warm colors, which are these three colors, red, orange, and yellow, to make my flowers. Okay, and you know what, I'm gonna make the eyes yellow, which is a warm color. Okay. All right, so then I would do the same thing here that I did for the body, okay? So you would do blue, green, and purple for the body, and then warm colors right here, okay? So, I am going to fast forward a little bit and you will see the finished product at the end. All right, friends, so here is my finished cat. So I have cool colors on the fur and then my flowers are warm colors. All right, friends, so I think that was pretty fun. Um, I love Laurel Birch and I love cats, as you can tell. I'm wearing all my to print today. So um, watch the other video that I have and then go ahead and show me your artwork. I would love to see it. And don't forget to do your seesaw homework, okay? And then our code word for today is cats. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.